All right, so this is episode four of my Dress Up Darling. A little bit of a recap. Wakana had a, uh, a dream about Martin, a dream that he feels bad about, but also he feels bad about the fact that Martin treats him almost like a friend at school and he hears people talking about them. And so he doesn't really want her to hang out with him since this could ruin her reputation since she's popular and all that jazz. But Martin doesn't really care too much about that. She says that they're already friends, especially what happened in the weekend, you know? Come on! <laughs> but they went to go shopping for cosplay materials, and we learn a little bit from Wakana on why he doesn't just straight out call something or someone beautiful or pretty unless his heart really means it. Martin was also quite happy that she was able to talk to someone about a game that she really likes since other people aren't really interested in this sort of thing. And the cosplay event is within two weeks, so they have two weeks to prepare. <laughs> <laughs> but I do have my full-length reactions up on Patreon, which you guys can check out in the description down below. Other than that, let us get started. Yep, exactly two weeks! It's not nerve-wracking at all. Damn, dude, they made a whole advertisement for Chika. Mm-hmm. Oh. It's got experience somehow, eh? <laughs> Damn, dude, he's already thinking about work. had started to violate Wakana. <laughs> oh no, the slippery girls. But this is his uh, first time making clothes that's not for dolls. Which again, you know, experience, experience. Might as well. <laughs> I do like this part of the song. But overall, it's alright. It's an alright song. I'm not really the person who listens to like opening or ending anime songs and add them to my playlist. I don't know, I'm just not really that person. Whoa, a friend! <laughs> you want to invite them over? Like stockings? Oh no! <laughs> Grandpa, you're back! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Dude, they have to go to the hospital! <laughs> he was so shook! <laughs> he fell in- <laughs> Stay in bed for two weeks? Until you get better. So are you gonna be living alone? I hope I'm not gonna be a burden. Oh. Okay, so he's staying at their house. Bring me my brushes. Oh, the shakings got me shook up. <laughs> Cousin. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, especially when you guys got an event in two weeks. I really like the plaid design of their pants and skirt. I need to today, even just a little. Ooh. He's too busy thinking about the costume. Oh, dude, midterms, he can't- Bro, you gotta study for midterms. Oh no. Yeah, you really gotta cram shit in there. You should also probably tell her it, also. You need help? Fucking, I mean, I, I don't know if Madden can really help you with the costume, but you, you need help? <laughs> she can help you with other things. A tour at our w workshop. Bro. 
いつ頃ご希望でしょうかえっと、明後日。日 Tomorrow? From tomorrow to Saturday? Is he, is, he also, is he also big into cosplaying? Oh, he's too nice. Man's got no fucking days off, dude. Call Madden. <laughs> Again, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what she can help you with, but you know, might as well get a helping hand somehow. Oh, so he got over to touring, still working on the outfit. I would assume he's given up on studying. <laughs> Ooh! Basic home economics. That's a test? Oh, there goes Gojo. Wakana. Just gotta get work done, dude. He's got a lot of shit to do. She came to visit him. The answer is no, he is not okay. Aw, she brought him some stamina beef bowl. Aw, you have to- Aw! Oh. <laughs> Holy shit, dude, there's just trash everywhere. Man's fucking dead. <laughs> oh, that is bound to happen. He's been working hard this whole time, dude. Oh, that too. I mean, yes, but also. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I feel like two weeks for this costume at such details. And also, you had like midterms and like a whole fucking tour and everything. You had a lot of shit in your way. Doesn't mean having a knack for it. Mm -hmm. Alright. You keep going even when it's hard. Yeah. Do it for Mari and Wakana. My god, that baby. All I'm gonna say is that even if you guys don't make it for the cosplay event. There's always going to be other cosplay events. Oh, get back right into work. Still with tears in his eyes. God, I swear if you fucking cut yourself again, I... <laughs> oh, you're just gonna... Wow, this is like a, a fucking photo of, a, of the city. Uh, they've been blending some stuff with like... Oh, it's Finnish. <laughs> Saturday. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> Damn, dude. It was extremely close, but I made it in time. I- <laughs> Well, the costume's finished now, so... All that weight off your shoulders. Yeah, all that weight. <laughs> Time to add finer details? And it's just gonna fall- oh. Oh. She's very... She's very happy, dude. I mean, and concerned, but, you know. <laughs> oh. You had no idea. Well, I mean, he didn't really fucking tell you about it either, so. There you go. Mm-hmm. Look, man. Can you buy him a stamina bowl? I feel like this man. <laughs> oh, 
Might as well, yeah. He's finished with it. You get this. <laughs> Are these your girlfriends? <laughs> ah, for the Yina dolls. Yeah. He's got the clothing down. He just hasn't gotten the... The face. <laughs> mm-hmm. Gotta give him them words of encouragement. Jesus Christ, dude. The fucking strains under his eyes is ridiculous. Ooh, what are you, uh, what are you seeing? Aww. <laughs> we have to get rid of them. Oh, like, put it all- okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that is true. <laughs> when she says- when she said I'll shave it off, I'm just like, ah! Jenna Marbles! This music very slightly reminds me of Persona. You're the perfect Shizuku time. Oh, y'all gonna hug? What's? <laughs> oh damn! Very nice. Very nice. Alright. Well, um, I'm gonna write some notes and I will be right back to the center. Alright, so that was episode 4 of My Dress Up Darling. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below. You know that I always like talking to you guys. For me, I thought that this was a, uh, a great episode. I really liked it. We... Uh, we got a little emotional towards the end, but it's understandable with Wakada stressing out over something that he really shouldn't have stressed out, and if they both had a proper conversation, this whole thing wouldn't have happened, but, you know, kids, high schoolers and all that, don't really want to fucking communicate, and especially for Wakano, who feels like he has to put all this pressure onto himself, and even when Madin at said, hey, you know, if you need help or something, just fucking contact me. Even with that, he doesn't really take her help or anything, he just ends up piling all this burden onto himself, which is sort of like how he piles up other people's burdens. I mean, it is sort of like Marin's burden he's carrying on, but with like how he ends up cleaning the classroom for the other classmates, you know, that sort of thing. Like he ends up carrying their burden as well as he has to clean up this whole entire thing when they should have been helping him. And also, it didn't help that despite him thinking that he had to finish this within two weeks, <laughs> when he came home and his grandpa saw what he bought, his grandpa was so fucking shook that <laughs> That he, uh, that he fucking fell and injured his back. So he had to spend time at the hospital and spend time, I assume, moving his stuff for his grandpa since his grandpa ended up moving over to uh, his son's house. So, walking his dad, <laughs> I suppose. Or or some somebody else's dad, I don't know. He, he said he was staying over at his cousin's, so it's probably not, probably is. I don't know, I'm confused now. I've confused myself. Uh, because of that, he ended up wasting a day or two. But also during that time uh, when Grandpa knows that he has to, you know, leave the shop in order to rest up and all that, he asked Wakana to get his brushes. And that got Wakana to be like, whoa, you know, well, you, 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 you want to get your brushes even after you're injured? And we learn 
later on with the brushes uh, from another flashback saying from his grandpa saying that he has to work he has to draw he has to use the brushes uh, every day because if he doesn't if he gets like one day away from not using the brushes it'll take him at least three days to catch up to where he was again and so with that flashback and then when we had the whole scene of Wakana feeling sad knowing that he might not finish the costume and he feels like he can't become a Hashirashi he thinks back on that flashback and he's just kind of like I haven't touched these brushes in a while so like how will I ever become a Kashirashi when I can't even draw their faces? That was the one thing that we've learned is that he currently can't draw faces, but he's good at making clothes. Before I got ahead of myself, uh, the whole thing about Wakana's stress and how he ended up wasting one or two days with his grandpa. I'm not saying wasting, but you know, he had to spend the one or two days uh, with his grandpa. Not only that, midterm was coming as well, so he had to, at the very least, study. I don't know, we didn't really see him studying, he was just working, but he went through the midterms anyways. And then he had another thing in the shop where he had to give a tour to these people who whose friend- the lady's friend was going to leave the day after, so Wakana, being the nice guy that he is, he's like, okay, fine, you know, I'll, I'll give you the tour. <laughs> I already feel bad, or I just- I'll give you the tour and let, let, let's get this over with. And so with that, his two weeks has considerably shrunk with all the other uh, tasks that he had to do as well. But as he was laying in the dark crying, he thinks more about his grandpa and how his grandpa- uh, well, initially he was thinking that no matter how much you love something, it doesn't mean that you're good at it, which is understandable, but practice makes perfect. And he feels like he's not cut out to become a Kajirashi, but then we hear grandpa's words again where grandpa says that making Hina dolls is tough, but if you love something, it will push you through when things get rough. And that he feels grateful whenever he sees his customers smile. But anyways, with grandpa's words encouraging him and reminding him why he's making this costume in the first place, which is for Marin, and you know, he just wants to see Marin be happy with this creation. So he gets up and he finishes the dress, and he gets Marin to come over, but Marin's over here like, Okay, I did not expect this. I, 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 I just, I just casually said it. I didn't really meant that I was going to attend this cosplay event. And Wakana, hearing that, all that stress, all that weight, that burden on him, it's just vanishes and he's just like, Oh, thank God that you didn't need this for that cosplay event. <laughs> But Marin, uh, again, she didn't expect this, so she's just in tears because this whole time she thought that he was just going home early to help out with his grandpa. She didn't realize that he's been working hard this whole time and she, you know, she was none the wiser. And he kind of goes back into like the whole, I don't know if I can become a Kashi, a Kashirashi or not. Marin gives him a good low word of encouragement, which was if there is anybody, anyone who can become a Kashi, Kajirashi, it's going to be you. So I thought that was very nice and he gives off a, a a genuine smile for her to her uh, for the first time. So that was very nice, you know, we saw Madden a little surprised at that. I wonder, you know, she did uh, indirectly ask him if he was single. <laughs> But she got the she got the costume on and she has now uh it become Shizuku Tan. But again, overall, great episode. I really like this. Uh, I've been enjoying the series overall and the message that it gives. So I I really appreciate it. So if I have anything else to say, I will write it in the description down below. Thank you guys for sticking around, and I will see you guys in the next episode.